Hello everyone. I hope so enjoying your days. And in this session, I would like to discuss with you the assignment key dated on 2nd uh, July 2020. Chapter 3 Transportation from the Concepts Thalassemia and Rhesus Factor. Some of the questions are given in assignment. I would like to discuss the key for these questions. Let us see uh, the assignment questions. First question Who discovered Rhesus Factor? Why was it named so? First question I am reading every one of you. Who discovered Rhesus Factor and why was it called so? You know that there are two major scientists, uh, namely Landsteiner, scientists namely Landsteiner and uh, a scientist named Weiner. Weiner successfully discovered Rhesus Factor uh, which is acting as an antigen in red blood cells. In the year 1937, they separated and announced that the rhesus factor or RH factor is an antigen. So they successfully proved that the rhesus factor contains antigen genes or antigen type of proteinous substances. You know that the rhesus factor was discovered in a monkey namely rhesus monkey in a monkey namely rhesus monkey the rhesus monkey was found in african forest in this rhesus monkey uh, in this rhesus monkey bird they successfully observed the existence of an antigen called rhesus factor hence they discovered or found this antigen in RBC or red blood cells of uh, rhesus monkey. Hence, it was named as a rhesus factor. Second question I am reading children. Let us see the second question. Write a note on rhesus factor. Second question is write a note on rhesus factor. Write a note on rhesus factor. That is our question. So, as I said to you, Rhesus factor act as an antigen. Rhesus factor act as an antigen. So you know that red blood cells produces antigens. White blood cells produces the blood cells which are present in the uh, blood. They produces some kind of antigens. Even RBC also act as an antigen. Even white blood cells also produces an antigens. Now here. The antigen of an RBC cell is called as rhesus factor that helps in the determination of charge of a blood group. That is the history of a rhesus factor. If suppose uh, the RH, RH factor, if it is present in A group blood, then the blood, then the blood considered as a A positive group blood. If rhesus factor is absent, in A group blood, then the blood is considered as A negative group blood. So the charge of a blood group confirmly determined by a factor called rhesus factor. So if rhesus factor is present in AB group blood, then the blood is considered as AB positive. If rhesus factor is absent in AB group blood, then the AB group blood considered as a AB negative group blood charge of a blood group determined by the rhesus factor. About 85% people in the world, 85% population in the world, generally they have rhesus factor in their RBC. Next question, I am reading children. Let us see. What is thalassemia? How can you define thalassemia? The thalassemia is, a, is an inherited blood disorder. In other, words, in other words, how can you define the thalassemia? The thalassemia is considered as a group of inherited disorders, inherited disorders that occurs by the severe mild thalassemia to normal thalassemia. The thalassemia was one of the inherited disorder. Why it was called inherited? Because the kind of thalassemia disease generally moving from one generation to one parent generation to 
offspring generation hence it is called as a uh, inherited disorder next question i am writing children on the board let us see write a note on thalassemia next question i am writing on the board let us see next question write a note on fourth question write a note on write a note on thalassemia write a note on thalassemia you know that thalassemia is an inherited blood disorder the thalassemia was characterized by mild to severe anemia mild to severe anemia mild to severe anemia the anemia is associated with a red colored proteinous pigment present in the rbc formed as hemoglobin so what i am trying to say the hemoglobin deficiency otherwise called as a thalassemia the thalassemia is associated with hemoglobin deficiency so based upon the characters the thalassemia characterized into alpha thalassemia alpha thalassemia alpha thalassemia and the next one is beta thalassemia beta thalassemia the alpha thalassemia which is the most dangerous and the severe anemia seen in uh, 25% people in the world whereas beta thalassemia rarely seen beta thalassemia that is much not harmful but whereas alpha thalassemia which is very dangerous and very harmful to the mankind these are the questions given in this assignment na Re remaining assignments and keys in the coming sessions we are going to discuss thank you have a nice day